and welcome back to this uh, last episode in the belt thrust install so last video we finalized all the uh, structural fiberglassing uh, so now it's down to the really fun part that's going to be the technical installations so first step is going to be mounting the uh, motor bracket on the tunnel so this is the, um, the motor bracket and for that you will be drilling these uh, two holes for the bolts and the main hole for the uh, the uh, gear leg itself. So in the side power, the gear leg is this, um, I think it's Bronx, um, seems very good quality. And that will go through the tunnel, of course, up through the, the motor bracket. And it's a very tight fit, which is quite good. Um, and it will be bolted on like this. So that's gonna be first step. Then second step will be actually attaching the motor on top of the, the bracket here. Then we will start doing the wiring. We were gonna pull the wire all the way through the boat from the from bow back to the stern and back up to the, um, the helm station. And then we're gonna do the final uh, installation with the power uh, connectors. So um, please enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help a lot. And if you like the video, you can uh, always put a thumbs up. It's very nice to see. So that went surprisingly well. Now I um, just dry fitted the gear leg in the, in the tunnel and mounted the motor bracket on the top with the two, um, I think it's eight millimeter Allen bolts there. And now we can, uh, I can go out just to check the propeller. Everything is, is uh, in line in the, in the center of the tunnel. And then I can test fit the motor on here. We can start start doing some measurements for, for cable the battery is going to be there the uh, main switch um, main switch and um, fuse is going to be be somewhere up here so let's go up and uh, check everything how it fits Right, so uh, it turned out it's a very good idea to do the dry fit between the gear leg and the uh, tunnel and the motor uh, bracket itself. Because it turned out when I fitted the propeller out there, that the propeller blade were just about a millimeter closer to one side of the tunnel than on the other side, and it should be um, dead on perfect in the in the center. Um, so there was a lot of fiddling around how that could be because um, I did do the um, all the measurements beforehand. So it turned out it was the um, the very nice layer of gel coat that shifted slightly to one side, so it it was actually tilting a bit on the um, on the vertical axis. So I did uh, just sand down the layer there, so it doesn't look that pretty anymore. But I think it's more important that it's actually um, uh, dead on straight.
it is a absolutely beautiful morning down here in the marina no wind sun about 10 degrees and uh, this is where I left off yesterday I ended with the uh, second layer of fairing you can see now I'm just gonna sand it down and I think uh, hopefully this is gonna be the, um, the last layer of fairing I need so after sanding then I will install the, the gear leg permanently in the um, in the tunnel here with the motor bracket inside and then when the gear leg is permanently installed with sealant and everything then I will mount the motor itself on the motor bracket start marking out the length of the power cables and um, yeah hopefully we'll get a good deal done today and uh, maybe even starting to see the end of this project Alright, just finalized the second layer of fairing out there and while that's curing then um, then we're going to continue with the technical installation here so uh, let's have a look at uh, where we are so battery is here and then I'm thinking that I will put the um, the main switch up here there's going to be a, um, a cover here for the um, for the mattress and I will make a huge cutout and maybe even put some kind of sign up here showing this is where the emergency switch is. I could put it way back in the out in the more open, but then it require quite long uh, cables, and I really don't want long, long cables here. So I think this is quite good. We can always just pull up the the mattress and then access the switch. Just gonna gonna activate like that. So that's gonna be here somewhere, and the fuse box is gonna sit here. Uh, so I'm thinking that the cable from the plus will go up here, connect to the emergency switch. The other cable end will go out here, connect to your um, to your fuse holder, and then exiting from here, going in a long, nice line here to the thrust itself. And the negative will just go directly to the thruster. So it's going to be a very clean, um, clean, nice install here. So first off is that I will go and fabricate some kind of little bracket uh, for this uh, thing, so it can be be mounted here. So let's go and uh, and do that. Okay, so um, step one is to apply the, the sealant here. I'm using this Tech 7, which is a polymer MS sealant. And then the gasket.
then aligning the water bracket. It's still quite tight fit, so be careful I don't flip it around too much. Now I will just show the um, routing for the control cable. So it's just saw me attaching it down there on the, um, on the motor itself. And I pulled it through all the different compartments here. Going back here. Tools underneath the oven. Back here. And you see it's exiting up there and then you saw me pulling it through the, uh, the uh, steering uh, pedestal up there and I had to cut the wire uh, there because the, the connector was simply so big it wouldn't go it wouldn't fit through the, uh, the steering pedestal so now I will um, now I actually go up and install the uh, joystick itself and then after I will uh, solder these two ends together.
and there you have it the bow thrust is now fully installed and uh, it's working perfectly um, so now it's about enjoying the rest of the season with the bow thrust and having some good confidence when we are docking in uh, in new marinas so um, if you have any comments just put them down below and i'll try and answer and uh, hopefully this uh, video series has inspired you to do your own bow thrust install so if you like the video please uh, put a uh, thumbs up on the video and uh, for more videos please subscribe and you can also hit that uh, notification bell so you won't miss a new video see you